What's up guys, NFL draft season has officially kicked off. We had Shrine Bowl practice day one. I'm gonna do a recap of that after spending multiple hours watching over practice. First off, I'm gonna go over standouts from the East team, which is coached by Bears special teams coordinator, Richard Hightower. Guard Christian Mahogany from Boston College really stood out today. When most of the East team's offensive line was getting pushed around and bullied, Mahogany looked impressive. Even more interesting is Ryan Poles was right next to NFL Network's Daniel Jeremiah today getting a first-hand look at Mahogany during one-on-one -on -one drills. Simply put, he was easily the biggest standout for the East practices and a guy that I'm going to be moving up my draft board and keeping a close eye on. Another guy from the East team who stood out was wide receiver Cornelius Johnson from Michigan. He had a big day. He impressed me multiple times with some big catches, even when getting pass interfered with. Quite simply, he just had a huge day. And then both of Illini's wideouts had good days. Casey Washington had a couple of nice routes. Meanwhile, Isaiah Williams looked explosive running his routes and on punt returns. He's a guy to keep an eye on if the Bears choose to draft a punt returner this year. Coach Hightower mentioned him specifically by name as a standout player today. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you could really name any of the defensive linemen as they took it to the offensive line for the most part. But the guy who stood out most to me was Charles E.A.B. Oki Anoma. It's a tough name to say, but the former Alabama and Michigan transfer really dominated in one-on-one -on -one drills and stood out. Once team drills started, the defensive line would continue dominating. And another guy I'm going to be watching all week is Clemson's edge rusher Xavier Thomas. He has an interesting combination of size and speed, and he's an intriguing defensive end to watch. And then moving on to the standouts from the West team. First, I have to say the West team had a smoother practice overall. There were less penalties and miscommunications and more big time passing plays. Early on, the player that jumped out immediately to me was wide receiver Josh Cephas. He caught my eye by making some big time catches in 1v1 drills, and he really impressed me with his ability to track the football in the air. And then the West team had two wide receivers with the last name Washington stand out, as both USC's Taj Washington and Virginia's Malik Washington both made multiple big plays and impressed me on the day. I will continue watching both of those guys all week, but those three wideouts made plays all throughout practice and pretty much stole the show. Taj Washington's one-handed catch was probably the play of the day. The offensive lineman that stood out to me most on the West team was Holy Cross guard CJ Hansen. He took a lot of reps at center today and he really held his own in one-on-one -on -one drills and I was pretty impressed. Also running back Frank Gore Jr. He looked impressive exploding through holes. And on the defensive side of the ball, Iowa defensive lineman Logan Lee looked dominant all day long. He was unblockable in 1v1 drills for most of the day, and he's a guy I definitely have to watch more tape on. In the secondary, cornerback Jalen Key from Alabama, he caught my eye with some awesome battles all day long. He impressed me in one-on-one -on -one drills, and he stood out as the best defensive back on the field day one. But Pittsburgh corner MJ Devonshire also had a really good day. Overall, there were a lot of miscues on the day, and the most lacking thing was great quarterback play. The talent at quarterback here is clearly lacking compared to what we'll see at the Senior Bowl. Tua's younger brother had a pretty good day, but nobody really caught my eye as far as quarterbacks go. For the first day of an exhibition game practice like this, there are always going to be a lot of hiccups and miscues, and things won't go as smoothly on day one. I expect better play over the next two practices going forward, and hopefully a quarterback can stand out as well. A bonus note here from Coach Hightower's press conference, the Bears special teams coach is the head coach of the East squad, and our linebackers coach Dave Borgonzi is the defensive coordinator for the East. Hightower made a note about how special it was for both him and Borgonzi to get an opportunity to coach at the Shrine Bowl and how they appreciate returning to the state of Texas. Hightower got his start with the Houston Texans, and Borgonzi got his start with the Dallas Cowboys. We are kicking into full off-season mode with NFL draft coverage on the way. 
The Bears have hired a new offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, and QB coach. The next two days are East-West Shrine Bowl coverage before I'll be down in Mobile, Alabama to cover the Senior Bowl. Please remember to hit the like button for me, and until next time, Bear Down!